Hey everybody, it's Fuzzy. Today I want to do a review on the Cordis Grease Gun by DeWalt. The model number on this is DCG G571. Now this is, uh, you can put any size of battery in here you want. Uh, one that lasts longer or the one amp or one and a half amp, whatever you choose. Uh, there's, no, there's no stipulation on that. Um, what I like about this guy is you've got these springs on the ends so you don't get any kinks okay you've got no kinks oh, no kinks on this side you've got uh, two little holes here that you can put a strap to if you're doing lots of uh, greasing you can put a strap over your shoulders and just hang it there or whatever um, I never use that but you can do that You've got a lock for your uh, trigger. So if you take it like that, you can't do the trigger. And it back, you can do the trigger, okay? Right here is the attachment for wrap around here. This is what I do anyway. And bring it back to itself and slap that in there, right? Okay, now it's nice and neat. The Zerk attachment itself goes on and it stays on. It don't come off. Sometimes you got to take a pliers or something and get it off. So it stays on good. No argument about that. Um, you got two things that you can sit it on. It sits nice and flat. Okay, let's wrap this up over here. Now, to change the grease, Let's put that over here like that. Change this grease. You pull this guy out. Just like that. Oh, I should have done that first. Let's pull this out first. Lock it. And we'll pull this out. Okay, now you take out your barrel. Throw that barrel away because that's done. Take a new barrel, take the cap off, put the grease end in first, slide it in there, take your end off, and then you pull that away, obviously. Then you screw it back in. Don't put don't put this arm in yet because that's what makes the, the, the pressure of the grease go into the gun. Okay, so we'll put that sucker back in there. Yeah, just firm, you don't have to tighten it real tight, right? That there, take that, turn it a bit, and slide it through, okay? Now, there's a little thing right here. If you can see it, that's an air get rid of button. That's what I call it. So you screw that out, and you don't have to go very far, but you'll see a little tiny hole right there. Now that's where your air is gonna come out, okay? So you throw that, just, just undo it, and, and so the air can come out, and that way it gets all the air out and they don't have any air. So we're gonna throw a battery in here and we're gonna give it a try, okay? Let's do that. We'll put that there like that so we don't get grease all over like I did already. And we'll get her going. And she's already caught. So you close that up. It's good that you're, if your tubes don't have any air in them. That's, that's the key right there. All right, so that's closed up. Just finger tight. Don't tighten it with the pliers because then every time you got to take it off with the pliers. So you just finger tight that. And off you go. And that's it. Put her on and let her rip. That's my review. Take care, guys.